So I have a video which is about preparing for A-level for any subject and I'll pop that here. But this video is about preparing for A-level physics and I'm going to give you three tasks that I'd like you to do now. Your GCSEs are finished and you're getting ready to start your A-levels. Everything that you need to prepare for A-level physics is in my book, Preparing for the Challenge of A-level Physics. More on that at the end. The first task is to get engaged. Everything that I mentioned here is going to be linked up and written in the description as well. But what I want you to do for this task is to find yourself a long form documentary and watch it. But of course, I want you to do something with that. I want you to write a short presentation of the main themes and key ideas to deliver to your class when you get back to school. Or otherwise, you could present it quickly to your parents or your friends or your dog or anyone you can persuade to listen to you. When I say make a presentation, I don't mean make a PowerPoint. I'm just saying come up with a brief description of what you've learned, what you found out and why it's cool. It's really important to remember to be passionate about the subjects that you're choosing. And if you've chosen physics, you've chosen one of the most amazing ones, which describes the very biggest things in our universe and the very smallest things in our universe. And there's so many reasons to care. So this task is just about watching something which is going to give you that enthusiasm and that passion for studying A-level physics. The first one is, is time travel possible? Which is actually on the Doctor Who YouTube channel and it stars Professor Brian Cox. Then I've got a Jim Al-Khalili documentary on the BBC iPlayer, which is called Shock and Awe, the story of electricity. But if you can't find that, because I know that it's only available for a limited time on the iPlayer, if you just search for Jim Al-Khalili in the iPlayer, or on YouTube, you'll find loads of documentaries by Jim Al-Khalili. He's a really engaging presenter and he breaks down these really difficult things to really engaging storylines. Then another BBC iPlayer documentary with Dr. Helen Chersky, which is called Sound Waves. So that first task is just about watching some engaging documentaries and summarizing them. Remembering it's about finding out why you care. Task two is about learning to digest information because there's so much information out there and so many videos on YouTube that teach you everything that you need to know for your GC GCSEs are A-levels. So many people, when they watch these videos, find it hard to identify the key points. So I've put a list of a few videos from what I think are some excellent physics YouTubers. Some are incredibly professionally done and some are people like me who just make them on their own. But for all of them, I want you to write a summary which has these three headings. I want you to identify the key ideas. So not everything from the video, don't note down everything that is said in the video, but try and identify the key ideas, the bits that are in big bold letters or are repeated quite a few times, the key ideas. I want you to make a note of any definitions that you're given, so meanings of words or processes or terms. Again, many YouTubers will write these and make them really clear to you that these are definitions that you need to memorize. And then lastly, I want you to make a note of any key questions. And that could be key questions that you need to ask your teacher when you get back to school to clarify bits you didn't understand. Or it could be some key questions that they are likely to ask you in exams or in questions in class. So I hope that makes sense. That's task two. And it's really important that you don't just watch these videos and make notes randomly, but that you learn to make notes around a structure. Because the evidence suggests that if you don't learn to make notes in a structured way, you might as well not make notes at all. So this task is about learning to extract that key information and make useful notes. Don't write loads, limit yourself to a few sentences only. So for task two, I've linked up some lists in the description. And firstly, there's a link to the nuclear physics video from Crash Course. That's made by PBS, it's an American company, and it's really, really high quality. You will actually find that link takes you to the video within a larger physics playlist. So feel free, if you like that video, to go through a few more. Then I've linked up the Domain of Science video, which is Dominic Wallerman, he's really good. He did the map of science, but I've linked up his quantum physics video. And then there's Lewis uh, A-Level Physics Online's playlist, Newton's Laws and Momentum, really high quality videos. I recommend A-Level Physics Online to everyone who's studying A-Level Physics. And then I've linked up the Kyrgyzstan playlist on the life and times of stars. Again, that's a prime example for a video which gives you so many amazing facts that actually finding the key details, the core physics within the videos is actually quite a challenge. But learning to do that will make you a much stronger independent student in the future. And then there's my playlist on waves the Gorilla Physics playlist on Waves is linked up below there as well. And when you watch my videos, you should be aware that I aim to teach to the very highest level. So expect there to be a really high degree of challenge. Expect to have to rewatch parts, maybe look up definitions. I don't tend to cover the foundations as well as somebody like A-Level Physics Online because I'm all about helping you to get the A-star. Task three is about using a simulation, which is a great thing that you can learn to do at home, especially if you're working on developing a hypothesis for an upcoming practical. So if you found a method sheet for a practical or a video for a practical, it's a really good idea to 
actually work through a simulation before you go ahead and attempt that practical in the lab. So the simulation that I've got is the FET circuit builder simulation and the practical that I've suggested that you give a go with that is the internal resistance of a cell practical. And I've linked up three videos, my video where I describe that practical, the Malamsbury science video where he describes that practical and the A-Level Physics Online, where again, he describes the practical. So there's the same practical, but three different videos. Have a little watch of those and try and construct the circuit and get the results and analyze the results yourself using the virtual circuit builder. So that's a really great habit to be into before you do an experiment in class, actually going ahead and doing the virtual lab yourself to see exactly your way through the theory so you know what you're expecting to see when you do that practical so that when it doesn't go quite right you don't get over the wrong idea or that you are skilled up and you know how to solve those problems during the actual practical lesson so those are the three tasks that i want you to go ahead and do the first one which is watching some documentaries to get yourself engaged the second one actually watching some study tube videos and learning to pick out key information and the third one to actually have a go at a virtual lab to actually get some real results that you can try and analyze in the same way as the real practical. But I also have some optical extension practicals, some actual real practicals you can try at home as well. And I've linked up my videos to those down in the description as well. I've talked about these before on my channel, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on them. The first one is called The Half-Life of the Bottle of Water, and that's linked in the description there. You can just follow that video as it is. And the second one is to just drop a ball and try and measure gravitational acceleration. And I've linked up my video on how to use Tracker, which is a video analysis software, which you can download for free on any a Mac or PC. If you can't get that, then there are alternatives to do video analysis on Android devices or iOS devices. And the third one is to measure the time period for a simple pendulum. And again, I've got a video on pendulums where I'm actually using a data logging method, but you could just vary that by using a stopwatch and timing 10 full swings to get the time period, which is the time for one swing. And remember, when you're looking to prepare for the challenge of A-level physics, then check out my book, which is also linked up, Prepare for the Challenge of A-level physics. I've got an introduction to every topic in A-level physics in there and I've got those three optional try this at home practicals described in detail and I've got lots of advice on working through the two years that you're about to embark on in studying A-level physics. Well done though you picked a fascinating subject to study and good luck with your A-level physics. You won't need it because you've got people here on YouTube like me who are going to guide you every step of the way.